hack code very difficult to detect for you. If you're on a database or if you're just curious about how big companies manage and analyze the massive amounts of data, today's episode is just for you. We dive into the world of OLAP and OLTP, the two acronyms that might sound similar, but are worlds apart in how they function and what they offer. Let's dive into understanding the difference between OLAP and OLTP. What's OLAP? OLAP stands for Online Analytical Processing. So OLAP is just like a magnifying glass for your data. It's designed for analyzing large volumes of data from different perspectives. OLAP databases are structured to support complex queries and data analysis. The key characteristics of OLAP are data storage. Uh, here, the OLAP databases are usually de denormalized, uh, meaning they are optimized for reading operations rather than writing operations. And the data is stored in a multidimensional model and typically the store are snowflake as you see here. The schema amount. So on the next is the queries. Uh, so OLAP databases are optimized for complex queries and aggregations. Queries involve lots of data, but they return aggregated and summarized data. So is OLAP is used in data warehousing and business intelligence applications. Example, analyzing sales sense, forecasting and budgeting. So imagine if you're uh, analyzing the sales data for a retail company over the past five years, you need to understand the sales trends and the best selling products and the effectiveness of marketing com campaigns. Uh, so in that case, the OLAP database is the perfect scenario. So OLTP. OLTP is just like a rapid fire clerk at the store. So it's designed to handle transaction oriented tasks, ensuring quick and consistent transaction processing. The classics of OLTP are like data storage. The OLTP databases are usually normalized and optimized for the first write operations that the data is stored in a relational database model. So next is queries. The OLTP queries are optimized for fast real time processing. The queries involve fewer data and usually written in individual records. The usage is like it is used in day-to-day -day operations of an organization. Example, online banking, order processing, and inventory control. So imagine if you're uh, processing a credit card transaction at a retail store, you need to check the inventory and process records and handle customer data quickly and efficiently. So OLTP databases are the ideal for this scenario. So comparison between OLAP and OLTP. So with regards to the data storage aspect, we have the OLAP. Uh, OLAP is denormalized, multidimensional, whereas OLTP is normalized and relational. So queries, um, here OLAP is a co complex and aggregated data, and then OLTP is simple and individual records. And for uses, OLAP is used in data warehousing and business intelligence, and OLTP is used in day-to-day -day operations and transactionals. So in summary, OLAP and OLTP might sound similar, but they serve different purposes. OLAP is like a deep dive into the data, analyzing it from various angles, while OLTP is all about quick, efficient trans transaction processing. So understanding the difference between these two is crucial for choosing the right database solution for your needs. So remember, OLAP is for digging deep, while OLTP is for quick and reliable transactions. Thank you for tuning in to the third of Hacker. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more coding tutorials and found out that if you have any questions, questions, topics, please leave them in the comments below. And next time, have a good day.